89 in Portsmouth. The heat from Nashville to Portsmouth is amazing for late May. 88 right now, Bedford, Bill Ricca, all the way to Lawrence and back into Fitchburg. So this is your real heat zone. Boston at 83, we're still pretty warm, and then 70 down through Plymouth, 67 in Hyannis. And our dew point's holding in the mid-60s right now. And this is what would fuel the thunderstorms. All we need is something to push them up, get those clouds rolling. Just takes a little bit of an impulse, but we don't have it. It's not in the cards for us in Eastern Mass. Some storms tomorrow, though, a better chance at that. Cooler on Friday and a hot start to the weekend. So we drop on Friday, back up for Saturday, and then back down again on Sunday with the temperatures and the humidity, too. So it's like a breakneck pace here. Um, summer's fighting with spring. Thunder, lots of it now. Albany, all the way to about Rutland, Vermont, and then up into the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, too, near Lindenville and St. Johnsbury. Kingston, New York, too, just outside of Kingston, a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Waiting for the uh, first storms to arrive in North Adams. They're already near Shaftesbury, Vermont. Uh, it is looking like those will transverse east and head out uh, closer to Keene. Keene might be the limit to these storms. I'm not even going to say that, though. Sometimes they just completely fall apart on the other side of the Connecticut River Valley, and that might happen as we go through the evening tonight. Nonetheless, severe thunderstorm watches up until about 7 o'clock all of Vermont and back into westernmost mass for those storms. So this is what would push them along a little disturbance here, a little front, but that front really doesn't cross our area until tomorrow. Watch them fade out too. If you don't believe me, the models see them blip away just outside of uh, Gardner and right near Townsend too. And then tomorrow, well, we might fire up a couple of showers first. I think that would be pushing it. This is mostly low cloudiness and I don't think it's gonna fuel any showers, but this is the line that will emerge out of Western Mass and also Western New England. It starts early in the afternoon, it starts racing down and should hit a lot of towns and cities with downpours, lightning and thunder. So keep an eye to the sky. If you see the lightning, time to bring it in. Best uh, course of action is when you hear the thunder, it's time to bring it in. And then uh, it looks like it'll cool down on Friday. We might have a fog issue with low clouds too that come in off the ocean to cool us off. And that will be a chillier forecast through Friday, but turn around on Saturday. Uh, once again, in the upper, seven, or upper 80s, to near 90 degrees tomorrow before those storms get to us. And even after the Cape, we should make it into the lower 70s. So the drop in humidity and temperatures comes on Friday with highs in the mid 70s. We should be right near the coast, only in the low 70s, less humid by then. Sunday, not washed out, but showery. So that's a change in the forecast too. Saturday's a hot day. And then early next week, it's kind of cool and less humid and maybe a couple of showers. No big drenching rains though. I'll see you next half hour.